Hey, how you doing? Scotty from Scott's Bass Lessons, and today, again, it's Bass Riff of the Week. And today we're going to be looking at, oh, by the way, if you haven't been to the website yet, scottsbasslessons.com, make sure you go over there, subscribe, there's hours and hours, zillions of hours. Maybe that's an overstatement. Maybe there's, you know, maybe there's like 50 hours of free video lessons for you to check out. Um, there'll be zillions soon. Um, just like this one, so make sure you go check out, check it out and then subscribe. I'll send you loads of free subscriber-only goodies. But today we're going to be looking at this another bass riff of the week. So this one is kind of inspired by um, one of my favourite ever tunes called African Skies by Michael Brecker, the late Michael Brecker. And African Skies is just a great example of a six feel over six over four feels so you've got one two three four one two three four one two three 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 four one two three one two three four one two three one two three that's weird right try doing that uh, yeah, so it's got that, you, you're feeling it in four, one, two, three, four, but as well as feeling it in four, you're thinking one, two, three, one, two, three, over the top of that. So it's a really, really cool feel. You can check it out on African Skies. It's got um, Michael, the late Michael Brecker on sax. It's got Dave Holland, one of my favourite upright, upright players on upright bass, believe it or not. And it's got, uh, I think, Jack DeJanet on drums as well. So amazing band. Uh, and it's an amazing tune, so make sure you go check that out. So the riff is just based around a C minor tonality. It kind of does this root fifth flat seven up to the octave thing. So yeah, and then it's got this. Now, if you want to check any of this out, well, I'm going to play this all slower for you. But again, if you want to check the, the tab and notation out, you can get it completely free. Just download it below this video. Hit the link and it will take you through to a page and just follow the instructions and it will, will email you it. It will end up in your inbox. And if you don't, if it doesn't end up in your inbox, check your spam box because it might go there by accident. It doesn't realise that it's a badass riff coming your way. Um, damn Gmail. <laughs> so it just goes up the C minor um, arpeggio, um, emitting the minor third. And then it has a thing, little like down to the nine, minor third to the nine and flat seven to the G. And then the riff, the lick at the end is kind of a. Slower. Even slower. It's just up the C minor arpeggio. And then down, kind of a G minor arpeggio, but I'm still thinking about it is C minor. So now, and this if, you, this, if you are new to bass riff of the week, this is what we always do. I play it at full speed, then we slow it down a little bit, then we slow it down even more, so you can really get inside it, and then, you know, hopefully you get this into your own playing. Now, if you're not thinking about arpeggios or chord tones yet, now is the time to, you know, start looking into that when you're playing a root, if you're playing a fifth, if you're playing a seventh, and that way, all this information that you're getting from these riffs is completely transferable to other songs that you're playing. Uh, you might be playing with a band, you might be jamming with friends, it's all transferable to other songs as long as you understand the intervals of the roots, the thirds, the fifths, so make sure you're practicing your arpeggios and your chord tones. So, now let's look at the, the riff up to full speed. Okay, so I've got the metronome on 120 BPM. Let's hear the riff at this speed, okay? So, and you, when you count it in, you count it in four. One, two, three, four. But internally, you kind of feel it in six. 
So you feel, feel in tune different times at the same time. It's great. One, two, three, four. Now, let's hear the same riff at, I forgot the time there, 100 BPM, okay? So again, let's count it in four, but remember we feel it in six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, two, two, three. One, two, three, two, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay, here we go. Two, three, four. Take care of how he articulates in the notes. Short notes, long notes. So finally, we're going to do it at 80 BPM. As I said just in the previous excerpt, make sure how, you know, concentrate on how you articulate in the notes as well. All the notes are not the full, um, the full length, there's short notes, there's longer notes. I'm playing some notes harder than others to, uh, to bring out certain parts of the riff. And this is, you know, you need to be thinking about this all the time. Don't play monotony, um, what's the word? Don't play like uh, monotonely. <laughs> you want it to have, you know, hills and valleys, even within your riff, not just in within a song, within each riff, you know. Um, there should be certain notes that are coming out and certain notes that are sort of like pulled back a little bit. So let's check it out at 80 BM, BPM. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now you're going to hear it with the backing track up to full speed so you can, you know, remember what it used to sound like before we started the video. Um, if you want the tab and notation, I'm hoping you do so. Make sure you download it. The link is just directly below this video. If you haven't been to scottsbasslessons.com yet, make sure you do so because there is, you know, 40 or 50 hours of videos just like this, completely free for you to check out and get learning. So, other than that, take it easy and I will see you really soon in the shed. Thank you.